энтузиазм и какое-то возобновление нового рвения, свежих сил. То есть такой месяц, который дает нам много позитива, энтузиазма в нашей практике в бхакти. То есть это сила. То есть месяц обладает особой силой и дает огромную поддержку духовную в том, чтобы мы могли должным образом предаться лотосным стопам Шиши Радхи и Кришны. То есть в этот день мы предлагаем плоды всей своей практики бхакти лотосных стоп Шри Кришны.
lucky to be invited by our Shila Guru Deva Puja Pal Shila Prem Priyajan Prabhu to this beautiful transcendental place. It's called Rajamandal. They are 12 different types of forest and we are uh, staying mainly here in Brindavan which is one of the 12 forests. And Shila Guru Deva bring us everywhere in this one month festival, one month pilgrimage to visit all the different holy places which were uh, where the Supreme Lord Shri Krishna made his beautiful pastimes 5,000 years ago. But actually we cannot say it was only 5,000 years ago because this dam, this holy place, it has a, a very special power. It is said in the Shastra, in the Vedic scripture, Evam Prabhu Priyanam Scha, Dam Nascha Samya Sacha, Abhi Chinte Prabhavatvat Atra Kinchin Nadurgatam. That the Supreme Lord, his associate, and the transcendental time and the dam, the holy place, such as Vrindavan, they have a Abhichintya Prabhavatva, means an astonishing, very powerful and most inconceivable potency and influence. It means that also that we, when we come to this place, actually we cannot see it as a transcendental place. We may see it as an ordinary place, which can be found everywhere in other places in the world. But actually it is said, Chinta Bani Bhumi Kalpa Vriksha Mayavan Charma Chakshu Deketare Prapanchera Sam That this uh, place, it is made of Chintamani, it is not ordinary dust, but these uh, uh, stones and dust are transcendental, they can fulfill all our desire, especially our spiritual desire. And the trees are not ordinary trees, but they are also wishful fulfilling trees. But with our material eyes, we can actually perceive it. That is why it is most important to do one thing. It is said, Asam Basyatat Baba That we must stay in association, very deep company of those pure devotees, saints, whose heart is always deeply immersed in the transcendental loving relationship between Sri Sri Radha and Krishna and all his, their companions and all their associates here in Vrindavan. If we can get this type of association, then hearing from them, the transcendental pastimes, this will clean completely our heart and we can have also realization of who we really are and what is our eternal relationship with God. So that's why we are most happy to invite everyone to this uh, festival. You must come next year if you can because it really transform your life and uh, inside and outside. And even if you will be in any other place in the world, this experience will be completely and always with you in your heart. Therefore also uh, we can say that uh, by the mercy of the sadhu, of the saint, they are traveling making festivals festival everywhere around the world. They can even come to your city maybe and you must participate. And then you will be collected like a flower and in your soul then you, find your, you will find yourself suddenly here in Vrindavan also, because we can get invitation to this place only by the mercy of a saint. They are, it is said, Anugraha Yeha Charanti Nunam, Ishmat Bhagavatam. They are always present. Don't think that the saint was here so many thousand years ago and today they are not. No, they are always present here and they are walking on the surface of this earth, planet earth. They are always here and they are distributing the mercy. So I'm very happy by this video you will be very inspired and you will join very soon this one fantastic pilgrimage.
say about my experience here. It's like uh, every time changing because it's a second year I am coming here with my good day. And the last year it was really intense for me, like a lot of purification. And uh, this year I'm, I'm feeling also a lot of purification, but also more understanding. And um, it's like very beautiful to see classes uh, from my good day, but also from Bataji other mood and uh, like to see to be in the dam really understand what is the dam and see with our uh, ears listening cl classes um, what to say I can feel one like uh, one difference inside me than the last year the last year I was not really understanding classes but I was more, more listening with uh, art, art, and this year I'm I'm like trying to to keep inside really with uh, using the intelligence, and uh, it's very beautiful. Every every part of the of of uh, the cart, every part of the day, it's very important. When you go in the morning to to the passion with the divinities, to chant together, the japa is very important. And also after when we have the opportunity to ask questions to Gurudev and listen and swear. And uh, also when we take quest to analyze, analyze everything and also to give seva, very important, very beautiful because more purification more understanding and I just want to say thank you and I hope to come back next year. Hare Krishna. So it seemed like a regular day in Braj the uh, coward men, the coward boys had taken the cows and up to graze near there in the fields. Не было ничего примечательного в этом дне. Он ничем не отличался от других дней, потому что все было то же самое, все шло своим порядком. Мужчины или мальчики пастушки выводили коров и телят на пастбище. No nikate. Oh, you are the only object of worship for all living entities.
Why you watch me Indra? You have never seen Indra. <laughs> The rain comes from Rajagun, the motor passion. But Govardhan, we can directly see. The cows, we can directly see. And the Brahmanas, we can directly see. So we should do three Veda karma, worship the cows, Giraj Govardhan, and the Brahmanas. Perform Guru Puja to Srila Gurudev and uh, Puja to our uh, Brahmin Sri Kavandarayan Chaturvedi Ji. Shri Guru Chahadana Padma Krishna said Trivita Karma, worship Govardhan, the Brahmanas and the cows. The feet of the cow. Then everyone gave to the Gomata. Gomata ki They made hundreds and thousands of delicious preparations and carried them on their heads all the way to Giraj Govardhan from Nandagaon. <laughs> I'm
of Sri Vrindavan Dam since uh, more than five years you're living in the Dam Sri Vrindavan can you share some of your experience like what is important to consider living in the Dam and how did this uh, blessing come to you yeah just something from your heart about Sri Vrindavan Dam well, the main important thing to, to be in Vrindavan is to um, always seek uh, higher association. This is very important because uh, without Sadhu Sangha and senior association, then um, you can be lost here. Then all your karma will, f will chase you even faster <laughs> here in Vrindavan. So always be very caref careful to associate with and serve Vaishnavas by listening to them or doing some um, personal seva to them. Here we have this uh, very nice opportunity and never to criticize anyone and also the dam we have not to see the external things of the dam but only the beautiful dam that is always manifesting in our heart and that Guru gives to us through Harikata. This is the dam that we have to see not uh, the external. So if we <clears throat> um, are very focused, listening and doing nice sadhana, then all this will manifest in, in our heart. So Vrindavan is very merciful. Uh, he, uh, she is always giving us uh, many, uh, many blessings here, like giving us some place to, to reside and Vaishnavas are helping. So, um, my, my experience is here that you don't have to take a step out of Seva. <laughs> a little bit you take a, a step out, then uh, the mind um, starts to, to wander. And, but if you stick to, um, to Sadhana and to Seva, to Vaishnavas, then everything is nice. We just have to endure and be uh, very strong uh, because this is the challenge to, to have um, <clears throat> To, to take out this energy that Vaishnavas, like the uh, Prem Prayoyan was saying, you know, Urjua um, <coughs> Brat, you know, to have this enthusiasm all the time, non stop in Vrindavan. And in this way, uh, you can uh, live uh, as long as uh, the Dham allows us to be here. So, this is my, my main experience that uh, Sadhu Sangha is the main thing to, to be here in Vrindavan. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you come this way and you look on this side, you can also have the darshan of Jyotila, Kutila and Abhimanyu. husband, mother-in-law, and sister-in-law, and brother-in-law, and all society, and all the Vedas even, they won't let a Radhika meet with Sri
Мы все оставили ради Кришны, теперь у нас ничего нет, мы живем тут, в лесу. You are from New Zealand and you came the first time to our Raj Mandal Parikrama. Please share some of your experiences. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's the first time. I'm quite new to Bhakti. Um, I only started chanting seriously about four months ago. And so I was a bit nervous coming here. And um, you know, I'd heard a lot about Guru Dev and now having met him. Um, only after five days I was completely convinced about um, that he's a pure Brajarasic Vaishnav um, and I decided to take Guru Parashaya so that was really a highlight um, and so I feel really blessed um, to have had his association of uh, all of Kartik um, and um, yeah it's been really amazing meeting the devotees everyone's been really supportive Uh, we've been staying here at Anandadam, just next to the temple, and uh, yeah, everyone is always engaged in Seva or happy to help really embodying um, one of the uh, brat, the vows that we made of uh, always helping when we can. Um, so I've really felt very supported. Um, I was a bit nervous about sort of what you hear about India and being overwhelmed by everything that you hear about India, but being in uh, Sadhu Sangha and with the devotees and spending um, basically all my time here at Ananda Dham, um, engaged in Bhakti, and when we leave we're with Guru Dev and it's very much focused on Parikram, I haven't felt overwhelmed, um, in fact the opposite, I've felt, uh, yeah, really um, a lot more peace from chanting and, and being in Sadhu Sangha. Yeah, so some highlights um, of a Kartik were um, what comes to mind, um, going to some of the Kunjas and yeah, went getting out because we're very much in the city here, or what feels like a city, and I'm, I like nature, so going to some of these places where there's these beautiful um, trees and really quiet, walking over some hills with Guru Dev on Parikam. Um, going out on the Yamuna with all of our Sangha on boats and crossing the Yamuna, Yamuna to, um, to go and see, um, I think it was Lakshmi, the, the Devi of Lakshmi Devi. Um, that was a highlight. And you know, all of us out on the boats and uh, singing Kirtan. Um, the fire yagya as well and seeing two of the Italian brahmachari get their, get their brahman threads and that ceremony that was also really special and yeah thinking a lot of um, yeah really happy for them you know that they now have a spiritual master Guru Dev, pure Brajurasic Vaisnav who will guide them not just through this lifetime but in their future incarnations as well and guide them to the ultimate goal.
The parikrama is over and the separation with Srila Gurudev and all the devotees is already intense but if we close our eyes we can see all the holy places that we visited in this month and even if we don't remember it's not a problem because all the impression will remain in our heart forever so if you were not here don't worry because you can come for next parikrama. Radhe Shah.